this class we discuss about energy output from driving axles here energy e is defined as capacity to do work energy is equal to power into time power is equal to ft tractive force into velocity therefore energy e is equal to ft into v into t i can write v into t is equal to capital d where d is the distance traveled in the direction of the tractive effort therefore e is equal to tractive force into capital d where e is equal to energy during acceleration so in this curve this is a speed time curve zero to a is acceleration a to b is a free running therefore ft into this area o a d half into v m into t1 plus ft dash into this area a b c d ft dash into v m into t2 plus ft is a tractive effort during acceleration period ft dash is equal to 98 into w into g plus w into r provided there is no ascending gradient w is a dead weight of the train g is a gradient r is a train resistance here ft consists of three components that is f suffix a plus f suffix b g plus f suffix r the next is specific energy output the specific energy output is expressed in whatever per ton kilometer of the train first convert the output in whatever and then divide by mass of the train mass of the train in tons and route distance in kilometer therefore specific energy output is equal to whatever per ton kilometer the specific energy output is used for comparing the dynamical performance of the train operating at two different schedules it is presumed that there is a gradient of g throughout the run and power remains on up to the end of free run in case of trapezoidal curve and up to acceleration period in case of quadrilateral curve the output of the driving axles is used for accelerating the train overcoming the gradient and overcoming the train resistance that is g and r energy required to accelerate the train e suffix a is equal to f suffix a that is force required for acceleration into area that is oad in the speed time curve this is oad we know that force required for acceleration is equal to 277.8 into w suffix e that is accelerating weight into a acceleration therefore e suffix a is equal to 277.8 into w suffix e into a this is fa into oad is equal to half into vm into t1 where vm is a speed in kilometer per hour t1 is the launching period or a starting period e suffix a is equal to 277.8 into w suffix e into Half into Vm, where Vm is in kilometer per hour, therefore into thousand divided by three thousand six hundred into T1. Since T1 is equal to Vm by A, therefore Ea is equal to two hundred seventy seven point eight into W suffix E into Ea into half into Vm into thousand divided by three thousand six hundred into Vm by A. A A gets cancelled. We will get thirty eight point five eight three into W suffix E into Vm square in joules. That value divided by 3,600 will get in whatever. Therefore, E A is equal to 38.583 divided by 3,600 into W suffix E into V M square. That is equal to 0.01072 W suffix E into V M square in whatever. That is the energy required to accelerate the train. The second is energy required to overcome gradient. e suffix g that is equal to f suffix g into d dash where f suffix g is the force required to overcome the gradient d dash is the total distance over which the power remains on its maximum value equals the distance represented by the area in the speed time curve that is d a b e 
we know that four circuit overcome the gradient f sub g is equal to 98.1 into w into g where w is the net weight of the tree g is the gradient it's the trapezoidal curve therefore e sub g that is energy required to overcome the gradient is equal to EFG that is 98.1 into W into G into D dash where D dash is in kilometers therefore 1000 into D dash that is equal to 98100 into W into G into D dash in joules. This value divided by 3600 we will get in whatever. This is 98100 divided by 3600 into W into G into D dash that is equal to 27.25 W into G into D dash in whatever. The third is energy required to overcome the train resistance E suffix R. E suffix R that is energy required to overcome the resistance is equal to W is the dead weight of the train R is the train resistance into D dash where D dash in kilometer therefore W into R into 1000 into D dash in joules. This value divided by 3600 will get in whatever therefore E suffix R is equal to 0.2778 into W into R into D dash in whatever. Therefore, total energy output from driving axle E suffix T is equal to EA that is energy required for acceleration plus EG energy required to overcome the gradient plus ER the energy required to overcome the resistance that is equal to 0.01072 into Vm square where W suffix E that is uh, accelerating weight plus 27.25 into W into G into D dash plus 0.2778 into W into R into D dash in whatever. The specific energy output is equal to total energy divided by W into D in whatever per ton kilometer where W is the dead weight of the train D is the total run length therefore the unit will become whatever per ton kilometer and the specific energy output is equal to already we found the total energy that is 0 0.01072 into Vm square the into W suffix E that is accelerating weight divided by W into D plus 27.25 into W into G that is gradient into D dash divided by W into D the W W take cancel plus 0.2778 into W into R that is strain resistance into D dash divided by W into D this W W get cancel finally specific energy output is equal to 0.01072 into Vm square divided by T capital D into W suffix E divided by W W is a dead weight plus 27.25 into G into D dash divided by D plus 0.2778 into R into D dash by capital D in whatever per ton kilometer if there is no gradient this term is missing therefore 0.01072 into Vm square by D into W suffix E divided by W plus 0.2778 into R into D dash by D in whatever per ton kilometer. Define energy consumption. It is defined as the total energy input to the traction motor from the supply. It can be found by dividing the energy output of the driving wheel by combined efficiency of transmission gear and motor. Therefore, energy consumption is equal to output of the driving wheel divided by efficiency of motor into efficiency of gear. The next is define specific energy consumption. It is the ratio of specific energy output divided by eta, where eta is efficiency of motor into efficiency of gear. We know that specific energy output is equal to total energy consumed divided by train mass into run length in whatever per ton kilometer. Therefore, specific energy consumption is equal to specific energy output divided by eta that is equal to 0.01072 into Vm square divided by eta into D where D is the total run length into accelerating weight divided by dead weight 
plus 27.25 into the gradient divided by eta into d dash d dash is the total distance divided by d plus 0.2778 into train resistance divided by eta into d dash by d in whatever per ton kilometer if there is no gradient therefore the specific energy consumption is equal to 0.01072 into Vm square divided by eta into d into accelerating weight divided by dead weight plus 0.2778 into train resistance divided by eta into d dash divided by d in whatever per ton kilometer. Factors which affect specific energy consumption. Number one, distance between stations. Specific energy consumption is inversely proportional to the distance between stations. Greater the distance between stop is, the lesser will be the specific energy consumption. A typical values of specific energy consumption is for a main line service 20 to 30 whatever per ton kilometer. Urban and suburban service, the specific energy consumption is 50 to 60 whatever per ton kilometer. Number two is acceleration and retardation. For a given run and a given scheduled speed, the specific energy consumption is lower. The higher the acceleration and retardation, since with this a longer costing period can be obtained and for a smaller period the supply is switched on. Number three is train resistance. The specific energy consumption depends upon the train resistance. The train resistance depends upon A. Nature of the track b the rolling stock and c the front and rear portion of the train number four gradient while going up steep gradients more energy is needed though the specific energy consumption may be modified by regenerative braking the fifth is maximum speed the specific energy consumption increases with the increase in maximum speed Number six is train equipment. More efficient train equipment will reduce the specific energy consumption. What is meant by skin friction? The resistance of the air comes into play on the front end of the locomotive known as head resistance. And on the sides or uh, top and under sides of the coach is known as skin friction. There is a suction effect at the rear end of the train due to its forward motion. Head resistance may be reduced by streamlining the shape of the engine. The suction effect is negligible which is 1 16th of the train resistance. Therefore, the train resistance R is equal to K1 plus K2 into V plus K3 into V in Newton, where V is speed in kilometer per hour.